Okay, hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Her First Time Hayden Plays Neo. Today we're into Mission 9 and it is called the Demon of Mount Key or High or something like that. Not 100% sure, so let's just dive straight into it. Hope you're all having a good week since we last spoke last Wednesday. Nothing has particularly interesting has been happening with me. I'm kind of isolated at the moment, which is a bit weird. Up the mountains we go, taking the high road. Right or left? Let's go with steps. What a great band from the 90s, steps. Shouldn't admit that. Oh. This is new. Is that a spirit? Ooh. Ooh, wow. It's like a fox or something. It's dead now, that's all that matters. Mountains are quite an interesting thing, aren't they? Ugh. What shock horror can't break down the wall. Is that all that was here? I mean, like, w what do you really associate mountains with? Is it more of kind of obstacles that need to be overcome? You know, like you always hear people like trying to plow, yeah, clown, climb Kilimanjaro and Everest. Oh, this is going to be like the last mission where I have to crack them. Will it be just red butterflies this time? I also consider them as like places of pilgrimage as well. Like you think of like the gods that would lift up. Again, going back to mythology and gods straight away. And then. I can imagine they are. Cat, I'm. S I know we're, we're like buddy cops. But I hate you. Yeah, so like, great, like, mm, I suppose what that would represent, like, if the gods live up on these kind of high, unattainable places, or at least maybe they were at the time, I know Mount Everest isn't that, it's more of a hill than a mountain, but it's kind of like, transcendence, like, reaching and overcoming, like, getting to the top of this thing is like, Ascending to a new plane of being. I, that, that kind of works as an analogy. What's in here? Oh, a little chest. I mean, Ireland is kind of known as a very hilly country. Like, we're obviously the Emerald Isle, it's very green. I don't think <laughs> this might be fake news or a very inaccurate fact that I'm going to out with but i think i remember that we were taught in school that there technically isn't any actual mountains in ireland that it's all very big hills like we call them mountains but by international standards we just have very tall hills very tall and wide hills and then obviously people know that we're a country where uh Christi christianity and I'd 100% agree with him. Oh, this is... Uh, oh, dear. Is that electricity? Yes, it is. He's not very strong. What am I doing? Swiping. Anyway, that, like, kind of Ireland is a country that is very much so ingrained and associated with Christianity, and particularly Catholicism. And like with that, you get a lot of um, pilgrimages around the country. Probably the most famous one is a hill or mountain in County Mayo, nothing to do with mayonnaise, uh, called Crow Patrick. Uh, I think 
it's kind of nicknamed the week and it's like the last Sunday in every July called Greek Sunday people will do a pilgrimage to the chapel at the top of this guy is dead he looks like some sort of wizardy monk priest thing and a lot of it is a pilgrimage in, it's in honor of St. Patrick who was said to have like Jesus out in the desert he um, fasted up there for 40 days and 40 nights or did he no he definitely he wouldn't have outdone Christ himself it would have been 40 he can do 44 there's nothing down oh he's a magician he's a guard of these things. okay oh dear oh dear that was a bit scummy then oh this is their library clearly oh we have a living weapon Animal magic cannot stand my fox, dog, wolf. Oh! Clearly, you can if I stop paying attention. Or think that you're dead. Very good tactic to play dead. We'll be implying it ourselves in Sekiro in a few months. So, yeah, if they go up top, Crow Patrick is a pilgrimage in honor of St. Patrick. A lot of people uh, do it barefoot, as kind of like for penance and all that, because, you know, we're all deeply ashamed of something here, all that guilt that we carry around, because that's just been Irish. Everything has to be punished. No. So, I think what happens, like, there's kind of things up there as well, like when you go up, it's called a rounding ritual, where people will, like, walk around kind of features of the mountain and parts of the chapel sunwise like in the direction of the sun and obviously that's a bit of an odd thing to do but it kind of it's an indication that it's part of a ritual that predates Christianity oh this is just back down to where we were and it kind of shows that it was probably an old pagan ritual to a part of the harvest festival called Lusa, Lus, Lunasa, which uh, was a festival that pagan people in ancient Ireland would have celebrated in worship of the harvest god Lu. Right, I don't know where I am. Ah, here we go. So that kind of bled over into just kind of the way that we celebrate like the new religion coming in have to appropriate what already existed there to get people to kind of adapt to it and relate to it more so they think could indoctrinate people into this new faith what I always find weird because you see a lot of this particularly in Ireland and I suppose in most Catholic countries is the the worshipping of saints because obviously Christianity is an Eastern religion and one of the testaments is thou shalt not worship false idols but because paganism in that was it's just kind of odd because it obviously ties back to paganism and the way that we would have worshipped like every different element of nature and that kind of feeds into how we worship different saints and different things like obviously one of the most famous ones here and at home is saint anthony the painter and saint of finding things and lost things so like if you've lost your car keys you're meant to pray to saint anthony because he'll help you find them like this. Hmm. strange i'm worried about falling down a hole again I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is true, but I think that whole thing of not worshipping false idols and false gods and you're not meant to depict anything to do with God or any sort of deity is why the Koran has no images in it compared to like if you think of like 
fairy into the Bible and holy manuscripts in Christianity, you'd have like the Book of Kells that is highly uh, illustrated. That may like there's design features on the words in most. Well, I don't think it's all Korans. That's not true. I, I don't think it's set in stone as a golden rule, but I think it is a common enough thing that you you won't find imagery or at least um imagery that can be seen to be characterized by like an animal or a human or anything like that again that could be another false fact for this episode not a hundred percent sure oh should be watching my key boom boom oh no he got me boom set him on fire uh, back to the hills of Ireland I suppose as well the town I'm from is called Clamel but the Irish for that being uh, Balaclumala which literally translates to the valley of honey the reason for that is because we're like we're surrounded by mountains or hills on all sides it's almost like a frying pan there's just one route going out of the town towards like the south and everything else you have to go over like a mound to get out of here so it's known as a frying pan as well that's that <laughs> boom living weapon time it's strange when he locks on and doesn't actually hit in their direction I feel quite strong for this level I'm kind of just dicing through the enemies Normally when you start a new mission, even after doing a few of the sub ones, you feel a bit weak. Okay, so it'll be in this direction. That's where I came from. Our pil pilgrimages aren't always, I suppose, to do with fate and religion. If you think of uh, these things, they were called the Grand Tours. Oh dear. Right, let's concentrate on this before we start. It, the Grand Tour has nothing to do with Jeremy Clarkson and his Amazon show. Right, let's see how good we can do this. Strategize. And just obliterate. Animal magic is bloody great in this game. Oh. And I still, like, he slowed down and I still managed to get hit by him. That just shows what an arrogant little bugger I am. Okay, so... We're gonna hit this guy... First with some slow... Some strength down... And then we'll shoot him in the face with an... Oh, so he can get his eye. No, we can't get his eye, but it's fine. Oh, he's lightning as well. You do nothing. Pure weak when you have... Oh, he's on fire now. Fast. Oh, get out of there. If I didn't have that strength down him, he'd be killing me. So much going on. The warrior monk's hammer. Looks nice. Let's get all of this. It must be, I must have broken a few little stones when I was down in that last place without paying attention to it when I was surrounded by the magicians. It wasn't actually them that related to the stones. Nice, some more spirit stones. And what do we have around here? Revenant. We'll do that on my own time. Signpost. I presume that's related to online play again. Not sure. Don't play online. As I pointed out, I live in the hills. If it rains, we don't get coverage. Let's go up here. Oh, I'm still hit by lightning a little bit. So, the Grand Tour, yeah. So it would be like the wealthy... S oh, I should have seen that coming. The sons of like wealthy aristocrat bankers, basically the higher up people in society, would have sent their kind of 
not teenagers, but maybe like 18, 19 to mid 20 sons on uh, tours or pilgrimages around Europe called the Grand Tour. A kind of time that they really just studied and soaked in culture and history and learned about architecture and design and music and different languages and poetry. And what this did was, all right, let's just rewind back to the time periods that this would have been happening around the 1700s 18th century maybe late 1600s as well but particularly you know obviously i only know ireland because i'm irish uh during the georgian period here you would have had the uh again offspring of affluent members of society going on these tours and what happened when they were over there they discovered a form of architecture known as palladian design that oh god can i get back here a little bit so i can hit him in the head yes i mean it just took out most of my health and he's still not dead and how many arrows have i wasted there ah uh, so palladian design would have been like 16th century kind of around yeah about 16th century for, uh, the kind of work of an architect known as, as Andreas Palladio you'd probably recognize buildings built in this design if you saw them they're generally kind of recognized for their symmetry they're incredibly symmetrical buildings they would have what are known as porticos out the front, which is just a really fancy porch. Should I try and break that first, or should I try and kill this guy? Hmm. Cast a spell. Shoot him in the eye. And make him want to die. Get out of there. Throw a bomb. He's on fire. I thought if I did the key pulse in those puddles, it's meant to get rid of it. Oh, that was a bad dodge on my behalf. Not really a dodge if you get hit by it. Hmm. Okay. Let's break this down now. Oh, another hole. Don't fall for that. Doesn't seem to be anything up here. That is, it's a long walk away. Empty runes. Item. What the hell? Oh god, that's one of the bosses from Mission 4, the Electric Cat. Raikou and Majora's Man. New, new, or new. I don't think I'm ready to take it on just yet. It's behind all this, so is that the boss? It's very strange to see a boss this early in the level. Let's go up here. Hot spring. Yes, please. I haven't actually found any Kodama in this level yet. That's quite handy, I suppose. Oh, it's a bit ominous as well, isn't it? That they're giving you that right beside what was a boss. And presumably it's like a supercharged version of him. It's not just going to be another mid-boss. Oh, speak of not finding a Kodama. And there's one straight away. Hey. Didn't I see some ladders down here? That's probably where you'd climb up if I had fallen down that hole after the stone. Let's see. Books. Always from the other side. Let me over to more stairs. Very, very, very peculiar. 
So yeah, what other kind of characteristics are there of the Palladian Georgian architecture? You'd always have the symmetrical facade, which is like the front of the house. You'd have the portico, which is your porch. You'd always have wings, which are like two small houses off the main house that attach onto it. Okay. Oh, no. I've opened something up. Boom, 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 boom. I haven't found a shrine in ages. That's what I'm kind of worried about here. Oh, another Kodama. Wow. They were like seconds apart. This is going to be the boss already. Is he doing that telepathically? His lips aren't moving. Oh, I'm sorry I was bad mounting you earlier. No, we were buds, we were buds, don't do this. Kitty cat, no! No, we were start skiing hutch, we were tango and cash. No! Ah, oh, no! You weren't a tiger though, man. I thought you'd be giving me a bit more of a challenge as well. I suppose I don't have any of my magic either to... Dog power versus cat power, huh? Oh. Are you meant to be this easy? Oh, you're not that easy. Okay, I suppose we can try and take on new. It's a pretty short level if that was the boss already. Probably suppose I could do a lot more exploration as well. Let's see, I'm just gonna be a douche. Can I get Oh, oh I hit him in the face. He can definitely hit me. Yeah. There was... <laughs> there there was there was absolutely no way he wasn't gonna slaughter me there. Oh gotta get out, gotta get out! Remembers the attack pattern rather than just spamming. I'm gonna run around all oh, a much smaller area as well, isn't it? Ooh, didn't realize I could dodge through that. That was just look at a draw there. Oh, sugar. Yes! I am the new Slayer, I am Neo. I feel like I might be a bit overpowered. Like, that was a bit... A bit on the simple side, to say the least. Let's crack this crystal. Screw you, Warriors of Light! There's my, um, usual Final Fantasy reference there. A hole down in that drop down in a second because I saw a pathway pretty close as well. On your locks, as you can tell, I have a lot of on your magic stat points, so that will be good to use. Pretty sure there's something here, isn't there? Yeah. Travel amulet. Fantastic. Oh. oh, fine.
fine. Oh. I genuinely thought that was going to be another ambush. So, another feature of the Palladian design that's quite prominent and important if any of you were ever going around kind of rural Ireland, it would have been a lot of country houses that were done in that design, is the pediment, which is the triangular part on top of the portico, the kind of porchway. The pediment, it's like a tympanum, but it comes out, like it covers the porch. Um, a tympanum would have been, if any of you ever gone around Europe and seen like, or just any kind of grand cathedral. Oh, we came out of there pretty quick, didn't we? Any sort of grand cathedral, you would have seen a tympanum. It's above, it's the triangular part above the front door. It generally has like a carving or an engraving, yeah, a carving of the last sculpture, not last sculpture. Last Supper on it. I'm pretty sure I have to fall down here, don't I? To... Oh, this is gonna be... Yeah. Didn't have to, but I did. Just try and find my way back to the boss. I can't actually remember how to do that. Swinging randomly won't get you anywhere, Hayden. Uh, yeah, so they would always have the last of supper in grains just over the front of the church. The reason for that is like most of these uh, cathedrals would have been built in like the Romanesque design. I'm going to Romanesque, more medieval. Uh, that basically the commoners, the old pleb in the street, most of them would have been illiterate. And so it kind of scared them into going into mass and giving donations to the church they would have used the Last Supper really, really like um, over the top depictions of it like, no not the Last Supper, sorry here's me saying the Last Supper, I mean the Last Judgment where like all the sinners have been weighed up the good against the bad and like all the demons are dragging all the people to hell that have sinned and all the good people are getting brought up into heaven so like you could see these really grotesque portrayals of that above the entrance to the church and like if you saw that you weren't the brightest person you couldn't read you understood what that meant it's like you better get your ass in here and you better donate and you better pray because that is the only way you're getting salvation okay we found our way to the boss so i guess you do have to fall down there shed a tear for a kitty cat oh i should have leveled up Look at all that. I'm right with it. I'm probably going to lose. Ah, uh, and I have no slow. I just have to learn your attacks. Oh. Hey, kitty girl. That's a RuPaul reference. RuPaul song. Not even reference. Drag Race, what a great show. It's my girlfriend that got me into that. I shouldn't admit how much I love it, like I normally hate reality TV and all that sort of stuff. But man, those queens have style. That would kill me. Haha, you won't kill me now. I spoke too soon. Want to get out and spend my amaretta? I don't. Want, I don't want to fight. Okay, now you're slowed down, and you're weakened. And I'm gonna teach you to be a good kitty cat. Why is your eye doing that? Why is your eye doing that thing? 
Maybe your eyes weak now. Shouldn't have done it with strength, we should have taken advantage and slowed you down there. You're gonna fly at me now, aren't you? See, you can tell, I can tell. Don't be a bad kitty. Up the bum. Two tails. The two tail tiger. I felt creepy saying that. Why'd you have to make me feel creepy? What the heck? If I die now, I'm gonna be very angry. I hate that new dodge thing that I put. Yes. It's cool fighting normal enemies, but when you're jumping around behind bosses like that, it's very kind of hard to track where you are. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why is no one mourning him? He's alive. Oh. Make up your mind. It's the it's it's the rain. The rain, it's up tears. Why, a why do you have one of my phoenix feathers? Oh, because your man Voldemort was there with my stone, my guardian spirit. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life, and I'm feeling good. Do, 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 do. I don't even look at what the stuff is, I just pick up everything. Is that a clam over there? No, that's like a rose petal or something. There's generally not anything at the end of the levels. Okay, let's go on. Go forward. End the mission. And there you go guys, a pretty short episode from me this week, that was episode 9. Please like, share, subscribe, do all that usual stuff, tell your friends, leave a comment, contact me on Twitter to give out about how short it was, don't worry, and hopefully we'll be back next week with a much longer episode. I was shocked that that barely took half an hour myself. So, okay, have a good rest of your week.